Pinnacle Studio 17 Ultimate is filled to the rim with multiple export options. As you can see, I already have a project in my timeline, so let's jump right in and check out the available beautiful options by clicking on the export tab. For starters, let's take a quick gander at the layout, shall we? In the middle of the screen, we have the export preview window dead center. Now, the export preview window has markers that you can use if you wish to export a particular part of the video in the timeline. All you got to do is grab your marker, left click on it, and drag it to a position where you want it to go in. And then you got your out marker over here, and you could drag this. So if you just want to get part of the video, you could drag the markers just like that. Or, if you really want to get precise with it, you can move your playhead to a position. And if you really want to get precise, you can use the step one frame buttons here to move it to a specific frame and then just click the mark in button. And then you could do the same thing and click the mark out button. So it's a great way to, you know, pull whatever clips you want in. If you just want part of the clip to be exported in a different file format, beautiful way to get that done. Now, on the left side of the screen, we have your export type section, the settings section, and the details section. I'll get to more on that loveliness in a bit. Now, one thing I also want to point out is that beneath the preview window, we got your destination section. This section is used to tell Pinnacle Studio where to place the file when it's done exporting it. If you click on the folder next to the location that's already available, then you get to select the location on your computer or on an external drive, wherever you want to. All right. You just click OK when you got your export location set up and it's good to go. Now, if you're set up on here, let's say we're on file real quick. And we select the location like we did. You also have the auto naming option here. So if you click on auto naming and hit start export, it'll give it a name based on the project that you had set up in the timeline. If you uncheck this and you hit start export, you actually get the option to name the file, whatever you want to name it, and then click save. Beautiful. I love it. All right, Pinnacle Peeps, let's talk a little bit about the export types. Now, in Pinnacle Studio 17 Ultimate, you can export a video to a file on your computer. You can export a video to a disk. You can export a video to the cloud or to sites on the internet. And you can export a video to the file type that is compatible with a specific device. Let's get it cracking with the file option. So Pinnacle Studio 17 Ultimate allows you to export your videos to all of the popular file formats. As you can see, this bad boy is filled with options. All right, I'm not going to go into all of them. I'll talk about that a little bit in another video. But as you can see, it's in your face. Plenty of options for you to choose from. All right. So if we click an option on here, let's say we selected MPEG-4. You also have presets to choose from. You select one of these presets, whichever one you like. You got several options on here as well. If I chose uh, HD 1080p, 
you can see that the preset details are listed below. So you get specifics on the frame rate, the bit rate, and the resolution of the video right here in the preset details area. Now, if you click on advanced, you get some options to change the pre-processing and the pre-processing gives you uh, options on how it's gonna render the file uh, before it exports. It could be set to automatic. You can render everything before you export or you can have no uh, pre-processing at all. And then you have some options on things that you can make it do after your export. You can shut down your PC, you can have an alarm sound off, all kind of good things tell you when you're done. Now, if you want more settings, there's a beautiful little option here. There's a preset here that is called custom. If you select custom and then you click on advanced, blood out. You have precise control over several options such as the encoding, the uh, resolution, uh, whether it's going to be uh, progressive or interlaced from the top field or bottom field first. You can choose your bit rate and you can also choose your audio sample rate, sample size, channel, encoding, bit rate, everything. That is precise control over your export options right there in Pinnacle Studio 17. Love it. Let's get out of here real quick. Now, under the file option, you also have settings for images you have settings for uh, image sequence and you have a setting for audio now the image option lets you choose between a jpeg and a tiff or tif however you want to say it all right so good options there it gives you the options for a few different pixel options but once again if you choose custom and hit advanced, you have more image formats. You got a BMP and TGA that you can choose from. You also can change the quality of the image. And then you also can change the resolution, how many pixels the image has right here in the program. All right, great flexibility to allow you to make your images whatever size and quality you want them to be. Now, the image sequence option is available for you as well. Got some presets on here for uh, BMP, TIFF, JPEG, and TGA files. And then you also have options on whether it's going to be HD, HDV, full size, quarter size, all kinds of different options on here. Now, if you don't know what a image sequence is, it basically creates an image for each frame of your video and it's played back as a video, really but there's an image for each one. Now, these files are freaking huge, they're large, and it takes a long time to render this type of file. Um, usually you use them for effects, time lapses, and great stuff like that. Once again, if you choose custom and advanced, what do you think will happen? You'll get more options, right. You're catching on, baby. So you can once again change the resolution, you can have a custom resolution and change it over here. Change the aspect ratio, the frame rate of the video, uh, quality, all of that goodness. Now, if we go back to the settings, of, I talked a little bit about the audio option. So, you got the audio option here. You got presets for WAV and MP3. And, of course, you can see the different settings on that, different encoding and the good or best quality that you have. And, you know, I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but this gives you even more options once again. So, all lovely when you're making your audio files in Pinnacle Studio 17 Ultimate. I think it's time to move on to the disc option, people. So, if we select disc, you have more options here. You can create a ABC HD disc, ABC HD 2, a Blu-ray, and a DVD. The presets that are available, there's just three presets. You got fit to disc, best quality, and custom. It doesn't matter which type you do, you get the same different presets. 
if we select custom and then advanced, once again, you have more control over changing several different options to make the disc uh, personalized to suit your own needs. Now for a disc is different than a file. You got some options here. You can of course choose the destination where you want the exported file to go. You can name your disc. And of course you select the device if you have multiple uh, burners or you know whatever you wanna say. You got multiple devices that you can burn to. Now once you're done selecting all your options, you can click on burn disc and it'll go ahead and burn a disc directly to the disc for you. If you wanna save the uh, disc, you're not ready to burn it yet, you can just click on create image and then what it'll do is it'll pick a select uh, location or you have to pick the location and it's not gonna pick it for you, okay? You gotta pick it. You pick the location on your drive where you wanna save it and then when you hit okay, it'll go ahead and create an image of that disc on your computer. Now when you're ready to burn that disc, if you're ready later on, all you gotta do is hit burn image and it'll ask you to select the uh, disk image that you created. Once you select the disk image that you created, just click on start burn and it'll burn it for you. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's go ahead and fly through the clouds, baby. Now when you choose the cloud option, Pinnacle Studio 17 allows you to export your videos directly to YouTube, Facebook, and Vimeo. So you look on here, you got your different options. Let's go to, let's just run into YouTube. Now, if you select YouTube and you hit start publishing, if you haven't already set up your YouTube account, it's going to ask you for your password. It's going to ask you for your username. And then it's going to ask you if you give... Uh, Pinnacle Studio permission to access YouTube. So you just go through all of that. Once you get through all of that, you come to this screen. Now, this screen allows you to enter all the information that's necessary on the uh, YouTube page to put in the title of the video, the description, your tags, uh, the format that you want to choose for it, all of the things that you need so that when you hit start, everything is on YouTube. Good to go. Ain't that easy? Now, Pinnacle Studio 17 also allows you to export your videos and projects to Box. So if you select Box under the settings, and then you hit Start Publishing, once again, it's going to ask you for your box information. It's going to ask you for your uh, username or your email and your password. Then it's going to ask you to give permission, Pinnacle Studio to access your files and all that goodness. You say yes. And then, bam, here's the screen where you are ready to go ahead and start exporting your videos or your projects to any other locations that you set up under box. Nice, baby. Real nice. Now, besides the fact that you can go ahead and export a video directly from here, let's say I just wanted to export some files. So I'm going to close this out. I'm going to go to the Organize tab. In the Organize tab, I'm just going to pick some files. It really doesn't matter. I'll pick like three of them. I'll right-click, and then I'll go Upload to... And I select box. And bam, once again, right here in box, ready to go ahead and select my destination folder and click start. Or even add a folder if I want to add a new one and click start. And it will go ahead and upload those files to box. That's what I'm talking about. Ease of use. And last but not least, I can also go ahead and send a project. So if I go to projects, I can select a project, right click on it, upload to box, and bam, it's there. Now, a project 
basically is any file project, not file, but any project that you saved that you were editing in uh, Pinnacle Studio 17, it will include all of the files, all of the media that you use to make that video. And that project can then be uploaded to Box, save your space on your computer, use your Box account, all right? So let's jump back to the export tab real quick. And talk about the last function, device. Now, you can export files for several different devices. You're talking about Apple devices, uh, Xbox One, Nintendo Wii, and uh, several PlayStation devices. Now, you can't change any of the settings for these. There's no option to uh, do anything different. You got a few presets for each one. But if you click on the Advanced tab, you really don't get much options to change most of these settings in here. Basically, the presets will suit the device perfectly. You're not going to really need to change anything on these exported types of files for these devices. And that's it. Get your export on.